What's up fam, Fulton's here with Building Blocks and in this video we'll explore how to build and organize custom green screen backgrounds using the latest and greatest features in Ecamm Live. And of course, for this to work, you're going to need a green screen. And for that, a huge shout out to our friends at Elgato for their awesome green screen and green screen XL. These green screens are portable and easy to set up and they've been an absolute game changer for our setup. Now, for those of you curious about the difference in size, the standard green screen is five feet in width, while the XL version is about six and a half feet wide. Now, if you're a solo creator, you may be wondering which one to get. You can potentially get away with either or based on your framing. However, since Anna and I have a much wider shot, especially when we're both on camera, we actually have both the green screen XL and the standard green screen behind us. And we have them positioned a little bit further away than arm's length. Now to build your custom green screen backgrounds, we can actually bring in elements from Canva or Envato. You can also find some uh, green screen backgrounds from iStock Photo. It's all up to you. But for today's tutorial, we're going to use some elements from Canva. So let's jump right in. Once we're in Canva, we can click on elements and search elements. And let's look up Chroma Key Studio. And from there, let's select photos. And let's see what options we have here. And as you can see, uh, there are some photos of a room and they have some uh, green cutouts that we can use in Ecamm. These might be a good fit. You see a wider green screen option here. And also if you see something you like, just click on the three dots and select see more like this. And you'll have uh, some more options from the creator. In this case, it's Fernando Cortez. And we actually like these here. Uh, so we can actually take this one and drag it onto our blank canvas and we can actually save this and then we're going to bring that into Ecamm. I've also pulled up a few other options here. If we go to recently used, there's a one that I found earlier, which is this one here. And it's actually a video. Uh, this one was pretty cool here. It's also a studio background with some green screen elements there that we can key out in Ecamm as well. And we'll build it from there. So let's head on back to Ecamm Live. Now that we're back, we're ready to build our custom virtual background. So let's go to a blank scene here and come into demo mode. First, we're going to bring in that city background. And we're going to bring the city background as an animated background, right? So you'll get the prompt add animated overlay. Let's select that. And we're going to loop this and make this full screen. And we'll lock this in place like so. The next step will be to bring in that studio background. So we will click and drag that into our show and current scene like this. And then we're going to click on the pencil here and go to blend mode and select green screen and boom, right? So now you have these cutouts with the animated New York City skyline in the background. And we can continue to build on this overlay, right? So let's say we wanted to add a little bit of blur and bokeh. Let's do that right now. So let's select new shape overlay. And this one, we will go to fill and we will select motion. 
and then we'll take this and rename it motion blur and we'll actually layer this underneath the studio overlay so you have this motion blur effect going on back there and you can actually tweak the intensity of it right now it's set to 62 we could probably lower it down to maybe 50 or less than that maybe 40 all right so we have that and here's where you can actually customize the tone of the city background so we can actually add some kind of a tint or hue to it right so let's select another shape overlay and it's remembering that we selected motion so when you click on new shape overlay you're just going to get another motion uh, background on top of that but we can click on the pencil and fill we're going to select the other motion which is motion gradient and we're going to select some colors maybe we'll do some purple and orange and let's layer this underneath the motion blur and then we're going to select it again and lower the opacity maybe we do 30 just to give a subtle subtle tint and a little bit of motion background going on in there we don't need border we just clear that out just in case and we'll name this tint all right and we can lock that in place we can lock the motion blur in place we can lock the hardwood studio in place so now we can actually add a bokeh background for us as the camera overlay right so let's add another shape overlay and click on the pencil and then we're going to fill and select blur and we can adjust the intensity depending on how much bokeh you want for your background maybe we'll keep it on 25 for now and when we bring our camera overlay in we'll see how that plays out and let's rename this rectangle Boca and lock that in place as well. All right. So now here's some fun stuff. Let's bring our camera overlay in to this scene. So let's select new camera overlay and let's bring up our cam link. And if we have a green screen behind you, this is what you'll see. And we're going to go into camera effects and actually select green screen here. And this is what you'll see now, right? And this is a background courtesy of Ecamm and Ecamm has a few built in backgrounds to choose from. But if you wanna use your background the way that we've done it as an actual overlay that we built inside of Ecamm, we're gonna to need to select the transparent option here. And you're actually now a cutout. You've actually keyed out your entire background and you can see the background overlays that you created in the overlays panel. And if you select fade level, fade level will actually clean your cutout and make sure that your edges are um, not jacked up. <laughs> Once we have our camera overlay set up, you can actually go ahead and add that to a folder as well. And if you want, you can go back into the studio background and adjust the filters such as the motion blur and the bokeh blur and the tint and whatnot to your heart's content but I like the way this is looking. So we're gonna keep this the way it is. And if we want to enhance this background a little bit further, you can use resources like Envato Elements and Canva to bring in green screen animated overlays and or transparent PNGs, such as this one here. Let's bring in a plant. And we can actually take this plant and resize it and place it in the corner like this and let's see if we added a shadow to this if it'll make a difference it's up to you but yeah we'll leave it without a shadow for now and let's see what else we got here we can actually bring in this lamp here Let's shrink that down to size. Let's hide the camera for a little bit. 
and maybe bring this in the corner here like so. Let's lock that in place. And for finishing touches, let's bring in, <laughs> let's bring in this animated overlay here and let's click on the pencil blend mode green screen and let's shrink her down the size probably put it right by the plant right there probably make it a little smaller there you go stay right there <laughs> and once we have these elements in place we actually want to put them in our studio background folder underneath the bokeh because they all need to get that bokeh blur as well because they're all in the background like that. And let's lock the cat, let's lock the lamp. And we could bring our camera overlay back here and we could actually bring our branding up on screen as well like so and boom, there we have it, right? And just to show how customizable this background is, Let's say we wanted to leave the city, right? And we want to go up in the mountains, right? So we've pulled up this mountain background from Canva and let's drag and drop that into Ecamm as well. That is a beautiful scenery right there. And let's go to studio background and let's bring this right above city background. We could hide city background and check this out somewhere else. It could actually be paintings if you want to and not a window. It looks more like paintings anyway, or some LED screens, whatever you want to call them. But this is pretty cool. You can do whatever you want um, with this overlay. There was also another pretty cool background that we found earlier. So let's bring that in as well. This one here and we're going to hide mountains and let's put city background back up and we're going to hit the gear icon and go to blend mode and green screen and let's bring this down here right above hardwood studio we have hardwood studio hidden and the plants and little feline in the lamp, they don't work in this background, obviously, so we can hide them. And there you have it. You have a completely different look here. And let's see what the mountains will look like, just in case. It looks pretty cool too. So this is how easy you can customize your background in a matter of seconds in Ecamm with different overlays for your custom green screen background. And this is what it looks like in full screen. And let's do some switching out. Let's hide the mountains. Now this is with the city background and we can actually hide this background and pull up the hardwood studio. And a matter of seconds, we have a completely different look. And now that we're in this studio, we can bring the lamp back there. We can bring the plant back up and we could bring the feline back into the mix as well and check that out right fully customizable nobody has this background but you and you can do whatever you want to make it your own and have fun at it as well and as you can see ecamm gives you all the features you need to create the most custom and professional looking green screen virtual background. Do you create content with green screen? Do you find these features helpful for you to create the ultimate virtual background? Let us know in the comments. We'd appreciate your feedback. And that's all we have for today. We'll be back next week with Ecamm Network News and another episode of Building Blocks. Until then, Anna and I wish you a great rest of the week. Enjoy.